Photo Story 3 is a free tool from Microsoft that lets you create your own slideshows. You import your own photos and you can add your own titles, narrations, audio tracks and a whole range of effects. It's a very straightforward program to use. It takes you through a series of about six screens and it tells you, it guides you through the process step by step. So in this short screencast I'm going to go through Photo Story. Okay, this is the first screen you see when you open Photo Story 3. It gives you a brief description of what Photo Story is, and we have three options here. We want to start with the first option, Begin a New Story. So with that selected, click on Next. The next step is to import some pictures. It will always tell you what stage you're at in the process. So up here it says Import and Arrange Your Pictures. So click on the Import Pictures button. And I have some pictures here from Campbelltown and the Kintyre Peninsula. So if I w want to import them, a very quick way to do that, to select them all, is on your keyboard, pressing down the control key and pressing A at the same time. That will select everything. And I just click on OK. So you see down at the bottom here, I have a timeline. And this shows the order that they appear in. I can very quickly rearrange the order by clicking, by left clicking and holding the mouse button down and dropping it to wherever I want the picture to go. So very easy to rearrange. Once I'm happy with the order, I just click on Next. Here, I'm going to add a title to the picture. So, I'll call this Campbelltown. Campbelltown. Now you see there's not much contrast here, so the first thing I need to do is change the colour of the font. So to do that, click on this button here and go down to maybe make it white. You can also change the font and the font style and the size. You just leave that for the moment. You can also arrange the position of the text. So I can have it align left, middle or right. I can also place it top, middle, or bottom. So we'll leave it there and put it in the middle. Okay, so I can add titles to them all. I won't bother doing this at that stage. So I'll just click on Next. Now the next step, narrate your pictures and customise motion. So this is two potential steps here. I can record narration for this image. So if I do that now, so if I just click on this red button, which says Record Narration, this is an introduction to Campbelltown and the Kintyre Peninsula. And I just press the Stop button when I'm finished. To preview that, I just click on Preview, and it will give me a, a preview of the first slide. Okay, I'm going to close that down. You probably won't have heard that there because my speaker's very low at the moment, um, but the narration was there. Now, the other option on this screen is actually Customize Motion. So what I can do here is click on Customize Motion, and I can actually, by clicking on this box here and moving these boxes around, I can actually start zooming, panning in, panning out, and zooming. So if I wanted to start here and go out to the large version of the boat, if I click on Preview, it will show you the effect. So I'm going from a small picture, going out to the larger image. This can be a very powerful effect. By default, Photo Story will put this custom motion on all of your photos except the ones that have got subtitles but you can add that manually and you can also rearrange the custom motions and um, suit your needs so we'll click on close there no. okay and the next step just click on next finally we can actually add a round 
soundtrack across all the slides or just individual slides or a selection of slides. So I'll make sure I'm on the first slide. So there's two options here. I can click on Create Music. Now this is Photo Story's built-in music generator. I have to say it's a bit cheesy and you may find something useful here, but it's computer generated. Um, so possibly not the best thing to use. But as I say, you may find something useful here. Or you can put your own music on in MP3 format or on web uh, that are copyright cleared for use in education. So it's worth having a look. Uh, so to add a soundtrack, I would just click on one and click on open. The bar appears here. This is it fits in with the number of slides you have. So the next step is actually to save our photo story. Now we have a number of options about what size we want to have the final file um, being played at. So on this occasion I'll just say save for playback on my own computer. But you can also have options here to play on a portable media device like a pocket PC or a smartphone. Uh, so there's a number of options there. But we'll just go ahead and save it here. So it'll go and produce the photo story. So it's working away in the background there. And the final product of this process is a video file. And with that video file, it's a WMV file, you can actually put that up to places like YouTube or Blip TV. OK, and on the final slide here, it's asked me if I want to view the story. So if I click that, it'll go away and open up Windows Media Player. OK, and that's it. One final step. If you want to go back in and rearrange your photos or edit your photos or add more photos, what you need to do is save the project. So I'll call it Kintyre. And now if I want to go back in at any time, I can change that. Clicking on Save. And that's it. Photo story in a nutshell.